Hey, hey, hey. There's no need. Are you in a trash can? My man. I got a trash can trying to kill me right now. Hey! Someone come look at this! Come- Oh, he got out! Jeez. I'm taking radiation damage. Well, don't. Alright. I'm here living my life. What's going on, this is Johnny, and welcome to Fallout 4. Now, the, the whole reason behind this game is to kind of let this game bring us up until we get to uh, Cyberpunk in November. So we're going to take our sweet, sweet time with this game. Go ahead and jump up in here. We're skipping that. There was, like, no sound. Alright. Here we go. Again, audio is a huge key factor for this War for PC. It never changes. You're gonna knock him dead. It never, it never worked. I don't you know think? what, I don't know what's happening here. Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Oh man, I'm so excited for this playthrough. You have no idea. All right, I'm not someone that's going to uh, do the whole face thing. Not my thing. Not my cup of tea. Godsworth, what's going on, man? What's going on? Thanks, Godsworth. Nuka Cola, ice cold. Let's go. All right, so the first episode, I think what we're gonna do is gonna keep it like we did Fallout Three, um, and we're just gonna do the first episode being, you know, doing the main stuff in the very beginning, and then getting through the, the vault. We'll take our time. I'm gonna take my time with this game. There's a lot more to do in this game, so I feel like it's it'll be worth it. Plus, I modded it, so we have a little more stuff we can look around, and I'll explain modding here a little bit with what we did. So, yeah. We'll figure it out here in a little bit, you know? Just try to get this stuff figured out. See, earlier, I had no audio. Like, none. For nothing. No one was talking. Like, people were talking, no audio for that. Everything. So we got, should be getting a dude coming out. That guy over there should be coming. Soon. Yeah, I think, well, I think once you get in, a, in here, it, uh... It triggers him to walk over. I'm really not for sure, but we'll see what happens. I'm so excited for you to see the outside, the like when we get out of the vault, because, oh boy. All right, I'm also going to be adding mods to it um, tonight at some point. I just wanted, really wanted to get through the, uh, hey, I got you. I just really wanted to get through the vault tonight for this first episode, so. Uh, here's one mod I got going on here. This is gonna be like the basic Fault 3, Fault New Vegas type. So we can really see what we're gonna say here. Uh, Vault Tech, remind me again? Vault Tech, remind me again? Why, we're about you, sir, and helping secure your future. You see, Vault Tech is the foremost builder of state of the art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Um... Then I'm glad you caught up with me. Then I'm glad you caught up with me. I don't have to read it, I guess. Oh, me too. You have no idea. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a... Um, mm -hmm. Precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Let's go. Vault 111. But there's room for my entire family, right? But there's room for my entire family, right? Of course, of course. Minus your robot, naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Don't want there to be any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation. <laughs> Won't take but a moment. Mm. Here, let's do sure. it. Sure, let's do it. Splendid. Splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see. All right, so we'll do our name. We'll do Jonathan. That's my my channel name here. Okay. Man, what do we want to do here? We got intelligence. We'll probably do intelligence for sure. Wait, can I freaking accept that? Okay, here we go. Um, 
So we got intelligence. We'll definitely do intelligence up to seven. We'll probably do a little more. I just kind of want to hit the bearings here. Strength, we'll do it to seven as well. Charisma up to seven. And then... Let me see here. I got endurance. We'll do the rest. Let's put... Let's take a couple of the strength. And we'll do endurance up to five. And we might do... Take one out of charisma. And let's do... Percept of the three. Now we gotta do the rest of them eventually, but Wonderful. That's what we're gonna That's do tonight now. Uh, just gonna I'm trying to play a little bit different than I played before, so on being prepared for the There's no wrong way. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Just making sure that this stuff is not stuttering, you know. Dude, I can't wait until we have, like, Codsworth things in real life. That's gonna be amazing. Which technically, I guess we could have it right now if you get, like, a nanny or whatever, but, like, having a robot do it? Oh, my God. I'm all for that. But, again, it's very scary, too, so. Okay, let's go ahead and spin this. Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Little do you know. Uh, it'll be like at that night in the park a year ago. Uh, and do what exactly? I missed the World Series on TV. It was sarcastic. Will it be like that night in the park a year ago? Sir? Mom? You should come and see this! Codsworth? What's wrong? Alright, here we go. This is where things start to followed really go by, bad. Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Sounds of explosions. We're, uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with our affiliate stations. We do, oh, no. we do have, we do have coming in. That's, um, confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my god. We we need to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. How convenient, you know? We literally just... We literally just signed our paper. Or our, car, our clipboard. See, this right here... Earlier... The sound was atrocious. I don't... Like, it crackled and it was horrible. Like, it went away. It was horrible, man. I think it's because, of, like, it didn't... It didn't pick up my speakers. I have expensive ass uh, one more time. I have expensive ass uh, speakers. They're like four hundred dollars a piece or something ridiculous, and it's ha it goes to like an interface. It's a whole thing. Um, I, had, I had to get them for school. That's the reason. But um, I think the game just couldn't recognize it or something, so it just didn't know where to, where to put the the audio at. So once I unplug them, we're good to go. Hopefully. Good luck, so I apologize if any audio comes to my mic. I'm trying to figure a way to get my mic to not pick up the audio, but we'll see what happens here. Listen, I, I'm working on it, all right? Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you, both of you. We love you too. All right, here it comes. I'd be freaking like ducking and stuff. I'd be laying down, dude, trying to minimize. I don't know what that noise is. I think there's a freaking. Is there a wasp in my house? In my room? Everyone, please step That's off the elevator walk and in my room. Oh my god! No Still here somewhere. Worry, Can't find it. Well, I think it's like wrapped up in my. My curtain. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just right. Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. Let's go, baby. I'm so glad I got that new computer before we started modding this game. I'm literally gonna buy every Bethesda game on PC from now on because modding is just crazy. Like it literally. Uh, thanks. 
look up Bale well, added. Is, is that part of the mod? We'll show you where to go. All right, you three, follow me. Right, let's go. But anyway, but modding just makes these games just one so much better, and also oh, it just extends the life this of the game. Of most advanced facilities. So I'm excited, no, man. For like Starfield, Elder Scrolls Six, Fallout oh, Five, like uh. I'm all about it. All about it. By the time those games come out, I'll even have a better computer, so, oh my jeez, man. I'm still up in the air if I, if I want to get the new consoles or not. Like, I, I want to, then again, I'm not, because, well... Anything I play on Xbox, I gotta play on the PC, you know what I'm saying? But I don't like shooting games on the Xbox, so it's just like I'm a huge. I don't know. I'm, I'm up in the air. Plus, Ratchet and Clank, you have to have PlayStation Five for. And if you don't know me, huge Ratchet and Clank fan, gigantic. Like, ugh. That was like one of the games that really made me get into gaming. Like, that, that, and Fallout Three. Oh my jeez. For a whole new life. Play them all, man. I love them. Something about Ratchet and Clank, man. Procedure Only one I didn't play was the one for the PSP a long time ago. When they announced it for the PSP, I was like, what? What are you doing? You know? God, this freaking I don't know if a bee or a wasp. Something's happening over there, I'm not sure what it is. Come on now. We get it. Oh, blurry. Can't move. Is this, is this where it happens? This is the one. Here. Man, could you imagine? Oh, Man. <laughs> I can't believe they don't have a thing for the kids. You know? Ooh wee! Kellogg. Now, if you guys haven't played this game, like, I remember I'm the majority of this game, so, well, some of it, let's, let's just say some of it, so, there's gonna be points from, like, trying, like, I'm not gonna try, but it's gonna happen where I'm gonna be, like, actually, um, spoiling a bunch of the story, so, so I'll remember it and I'll talk about it, so, just a heads up, it's five years old, so if you're not... If you want like a vanilla playthrough with no spoilers from the person playing it, this is not the channel. I'm just playing the game because I'm having some fun before Cyberpunk comes out, so... And it's modded. You gotta get the... I can't wait for you guys to see everything. Ugh. Out of time. Alright, here we go. But the one thing I do love about this game... ...is the... The, the the ability to loot things without having to open shit. When I when they announced that, oh my god, dude, I was like, this is crazy. You know, like this is amazing. I've always wanted that. All right, here we got we got stim pack here. Cigarette ci cigarette carton. We're gonna try to get a few things here. I'm not gonna read anything. I'm just gonna kind of. I'm gonna take my time, but I'm not gonna take my time. I don't know how to explain it. I'm just gonna play the way I'm gonna play it. I don't know. But if it was like my first time playing it, I'd be looking through everything, reading everything. Like, I'm a huge advocate for like playing the game the way it's intended. So, like, running through terminals, etc. Like, when we play Cyberpunk, expect me to take my time. Because I'm really like, I mean, just, I've been fiending for a game like that for so long. So, for it to come out, I'm really gonna take my time with it, you know? 
Let's see here. Plus, the more stuff we can get in here, the better. I'm gonna try to loot everything. Is there nothing to loot in this freaking place? Really? Okay, well. Get up out of here then. Making sure there's nothing that's not framey for you guys too. I played Mafia like yesterday and it was so framey. Like really bad framey, so just really trying to make sure it doesn't happen over here for Fallout as well. That means my OBS needs to be like updated or something. Something's going on. Come here. Oh my god, I thought you were gonna jump. Really? You didn't jump at all. There you go, there's one that jumped. They usually jump at you. Here we go, stim packs. Right? We got a freaking bobby pin. We're gonna need that. Free war money. Come in here, we're gonna grab this ammo and the pistol. More ammo. Oh man, I forgot there's freaking base building too, so we really gotta pick up everything. Ugh. Just so excited. Preserved. I'll be pins. Let's go. Can't loot that. Alright. I think we are good to rock it. Go ahead and open the uh, door here. Mm, open evacuation tunnel. I'm not gonna read anything. Unless you guys want me to read through shit, I can. Like I said, it's really got to oh, last enough time for Cyberpunk to come out. I keep saying that, but it's like the truth. I'm really trying to like time it to where we finish this game right when Cyberpunk comes out. Because I really didn't die. I'm really getting only to the point where I guess actually we, I guess we could double upload if we don't beat it, but Cyberpunk is going to take a lot of our time on the channel. Like, I'm talking double uploads, triple up uploads, like, I'm just gonna go fucking nuts. Right in your butt cheek, bro. Ammo. More ammo there. So this is where we actually would've came out if we would've went straight. They made us go all the way around. Alright. There. Okay, you you need to not be like that, please. Go ahead and pick up the Pit Boy. <clears throat> Let's go. I also got a Pit Boy mod. You guys will see that in just a second. Right about. Mm -hmm. Ah. Ah, come on, come on. Now, it is, um, clear. Like, it's colored. See it? Look how fucking, that's so cool, man. The map is also colored, I think, once you walk or something. But, um, yeah, I can't, oh my god, I just can't wait. I always wanted it to be clear, man. I, don't, I'm not, I keep saying clear. I always wanted it to be colored. I don't know why the Pip Boy is never colored. I guess it's just because it's like the, the, the technology. Um, but I don't know. I'm just stoked. It really just like bleeds life in this game. Like I said, I've 100% completed this game on Xbox. Got all the achievements. I've done everything. Um, so I've 100% completed it, so putting mods into stuff like this, it is crazy. Oh man, that's bright as hell. Open it up. I'm excited. Man, there's just nothing like getting out of the vault, you know? Like, what is the world gonna look like? Like, what? Like, yeah. Just the feeling of a fog game, it's just, there's nothing like it. In my opinion. Let me in here. We gotta wait for him. Or wait for that thing to close or what? I can't go in here. Alright. We gotta wait for the thing to open. There we go. Alright. Finish and exit. There we go. Enjoy your return to the surface. And thank you for choosing. 
There was like, there, there really wasn't an uh, elevator there. Alright, now here is where we're actually gonna start the game. I cannot wait for you guys to see what's going on outside. If you played Fallout 4, you'll know what it kind of reminds you of or what it looks like. But also, I added mods, I added a few things that makes it look just ridiculous. Oh my god. Oh. Oh god. Look at this. Look at all this stuff to loot. Oh my god, I'm so excited. You have no idea. Okay, so the mods I added were, um... Mods that add, like, things within the world to loot. So, like, when you first come out of the vault without mods, yes, I think it's just, like, one of these huts, and then, like, a couple things over there, but, like, they added all of this extra stuff out here, too, so... There's a lot to take in and, and loot, and so I'm just stoked for it. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, I added a graphical mod as well. Um, but I'm going to tinker with it. Uh, I'm, nothing is really set in stone at the moment, to be honest. Uh, Rad X. So we're really just going to take our time to make sure everything is right. Also, I don't know what's wrong. Is one of the mods is messed up. I think it's the ENB, the graphic mod. It, like, fades in and out. It's really weird. Let's go ahead and loot over here, see if we can. Can we go in here? Go the steps. Security gate. Nothing in here? Really? You're gonna add stuff in the game, but you're not gonna put anything in it? That's nuts. Freaking crazy. Deathclaw hide? Excuse me? Bird, relax, will ya? Alright. I think we're good. Let's go ahead and head down. Kind of bright, to be honest. Desk fan. Ram. Is that a spider? Oh, I thought that was a spider. I was like, what? There's spiders in this game? Alright. Oh, bottle cap. I mean, someone's been here, right? Because that, that means, like, transfer over to the, the new money system. Uh, we, I think we went there, didn't we? Whatever, if we didn't. Also, the, uh, the mod that I also got as well is the... Like, the brush. All this, like, shrubbery and stuff. I think that's a good touch. It's for me, like, most of the game was, like, super, like... Bland, you know? Which I get, but... I want it to be different and it actually look decent, so... Yeah. That's what we're gonna do. Sanctuary. Casual outfit. Oh my god. Can I, can I get your helmet, G? I like your cut. <laughs> oh man, I just I live on TikTok, literally. Hey, hey, hey. There's no need. Are you in a trash can? My man. I got a trash can trying to kill me right now. Hey! Someone come look at this! Come oh we got out! Jeez. I'm taking radiation damage. Well, don't. Alright. I'm here living my life. Nuka Cherry. What is this? A cigar. Alright. Oh, here we go. Impact purified water. Here you go talk to Codsworth. I know I said I was going to play this game, uh, the first episode of Getting Out of the Vault, but I think we're just going to go ahead and talk to What's-His-Face, and then... We'll call it an episode. I kind of want to keep this a pretty short series at the very beginning, like 30 to 40 minutes. Um, anything longer than that, it, it takes me forever to upload for whatever reason, because my internet's trash. So, but, but once we get ahead, I can really start going crazy with the, with the time. Then I can, because then I know I've got some coming out, you know? I don't have to, like, worry about it. That's the problem. Like, I might have five or six episodes or whatever I'm recording at the time. Um, done and ready to rock, but I can't upload it. It's just a whole thing. It's a mess. That's all I'm trying to say. Alright, let's go talk to Codsworth. I also feel like the, the, the brightness for you guys is kind of crazy, too. Oh, it's, it's really you. It is. Codsworth, what happened to the world? Codsworth. What happened? What happened to the world? Well, sir, well, 
Besides our geranium still being the envy of Sanctuary Hills, I'm afraid things have been dreadfully dull around here. Things will be so much more exciting with you and Mrs. Beck. Where is your better half, by the by? They came into the vault, made you saw them. Maybe you saw them armed, wearing strange outfits. You can't be dead, you can't be. I'm in a dream, I'm in a bad dream. They, they killed her, she's in a better place. Let's do... They killed her. They, they killed her. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, uh, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? Um, there's no reason. There's no reason someone would take my son. He's gone. God damn it! Someone took him. They stole my son. Sean's been kidnapped. I'm going to find him. I'm going to get my son back. Have you seen Sean? Codsworth, listen to me carefully. Have you seen him? Have you seen Sean? Why, the, the missus had him last, remember? Or perhaps she's gone to the Parker residence to arrange a play date. I'm sure she'll be back with him momentarily. That doesn't make sense. There's no reason someone would take my son. It doesn't make sense. There's just no reason someone would take my son. It's worse than I thought. <laughs> You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating I can't see him in the years wall, too. That, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, 200 years? What? Are you? No, no, that's not possible. I wasn't out for that long. Not 200 years. Uh, doesn't matter how long it's been. I feel fine. God damn it. I think what's going on. 200 years. That's insane. Uh, to the first 200 one. 200 years? What? Are you? A bit over 210, actually, sir. Or oh, give or take a little. For the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack? <laughs> you must be famished. Codsworth, you're acting a little bit weird. What's wrong? Codsworth, you're acting a little bit weird. What's wrong? I... I... Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets our nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing. And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house <laughs> and the car. The car! How do you polish rust? Uh, what do you know, Codsworth? Tell me, pal. Focus. Stay with me, pal. Focus. Uh, I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were... dead. I did find this... hollow tape. I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise, but then, well, everything happened. Thank you, Codsworth. Thank you, Codsworth. You're, you're welcome. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The missus and young Sean may turn up yet. All right, lead the way. All right. Lead the way. Proud to serve, sir. Okay. Go ahead and go back in here. Go ahead and pick the fuel. I need to get my FOV a little bit up too. I gotta figure out a way to like save it to where it can actually stay in the 90s. Cause this whole freaking 60s and 70s is gonna throw up. Pepper. All right, I think we're good here. Go ahead and go over to Codsworth. Where's the, where is the door? Are you good? Figured it out. So the mod that uh, I was talking about earlier, it adds like different stuff to 
to the, um... The wasteland. It makes it more, like, dynamic looking. It looks like people actually lived here. Etc. So... I don't know. I can't remember exactly what's all, like, mod and not mod, but if you see something that's not, like, that's definitely with a mod, just let me know. I'm gonna let you handle that, big guy. You're doing fine, to be honest. Um... Let's see here. Nothing in there. Yeah, I think we're good. Codsworth. Sir, the missus and young Sean... Out here. Come on, Cosmo, I need your health. Where can I go? Um... Where can I go? Come on, Codsworth. I need your help. Where can I go? Well, you could head into the city. Concord is nearby. But the people there are... Mm, as put together as I am. Uh, there's two. There's still people that live in, alive in on Concord. There's still people alive in Concord. Yes, although they're a bit rough. Uh, you remember the way, just across the southern footbridge, out of the neighborhood, and past the Red Rocket Station. I shall remain here. Let's go. Let's get Concord. All right. I think we're gonna let's go ahead and loot a couple of these houses, and then we're gonna call it. Let's go ahead and loot this. House. Can't loot this house. Phenomenal. That actually scared me, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna loot the rest of the sanctuary here, see if we can pick anything up. I don't wanna get too crazy heavy on stuff, because... Uh, we don't have base building and stuff yet, so I can't really drop anything off. I guess I could sell it. But I would rather wait on it until... We can actually use it, if that makes any sense with everybody here. See here, nothing in these drawers. Alright. Go ahead and... That's broke, that's broke, we were in that one. Over here. Nothing. Oh, I do have it already, huh? Interesting. Oh, cool. I didn't know I had it yet. I thought I'd wait until, uh... I talked to Harvey or whatever. And I got, like, Sanctuary to be my thingy, Bob, so... I take that back. I guess we could start grabbing stuff then, huh? Can always do it at a later time. Alright. Go ahead and head down here. I'm pretty sure if I can remember right, one of these houses has a safe in it, but I'm not 100%. I think we looted this one, didn't we? Yeah, 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 we did. Come down here, grab these two here. Just gonna do like an initial pass through. We we did this one, this is the one that had the rad roaches in. What about this one? Does not have anything? Kitchen scale. Another pistol. Dinner four pencil. Right here. Makeshift bomb. Yeah, I know, I know how to do this. Actually, I don't, I don't play it on PC, so this is gonna go either really wrong or really right. There we go. Perfect. That's it. Take that. We'll take the shotgun cells, pipe pistol. We'll take all of it. Might as well. Oops. Yeah, we'll just take it all. Probably be a little bit better anyway. What is this, medic? Sure. Okay. Ooh, bottle cap in there. Why is there a I guess maybe someone's drinking beer or something. We'll take that. Don't! I didn't mean to hit the button. I didn't know that was even a hotkey. Jesus. Alright. It's uh, 40 minutes in. I think we're gonna call right here. We gotta finish looting uh, Sanctuary on the way out. But as you can see, there's actually a new set. I don't think that house is there. Red Rockets that way. We'll get, we'll get dog meat after this. But yeah. This is Fred's episode number one of Fallout 4. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys do the YouTube thing, like, comment, subscribe, and show your friends. As always, guys, my name is Johnny. I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode of Fallout 4. We have a lot to do. Tons to do. Things to explore. And I'm excited to go on this journey with everybody, so... Make sure you guys leave a big fat thumbs up. You know the YouTube drill, man. I'm not gonna drill anybody's heads, but... 
it does help a lot for someone my size of a channel. So, yeah, Perfect. see you guys soon. Bye.